As an age grouper in the famous North Baltimore Aquatic Club with Tom Himes and John Cadigan and the whole crew, Scott Armstrong, Paul Yetter, Bob Bowman, mm. going through that experience and using the phrase experiential learning, what are some things that you developed early on in that program that could be very intimidating for a lot of age group athletes? Yeah. The expectations are extraordinarily high. What was it like navigating that experience as a youngster? When I got to MBAC, I was nine years old and I wasn't really like in on swimming. I was just, my dad, my dad and my mom just made me go to practice because I was really good at swimming in our backyard pool. And I loved being underwater. I, I loved, love, love just playing in the pool. And I'm gonna actually come back to that later if we talk about swimming that I'm doing right now. I love to play. And so when I went to swim practice, I was immediately a natural. It is what it is, you know, some, a lot of people just have genetic gifts that end up being good at the sport. And, um, but I wasn't really aware, like they had this watch party for Michael at Meadowbrook for NBAC at the 2000 Olympics when he was 15. And, you know, I'm nine, 10 years old. The kids that I was friends with in that group have been swimming since they were six or seven. So they're like looking at the screen with their mouths agape, like oh, Michael's at the Olympics. And for me, I had just come from, you know, at this time, my dad was at the Atlanta Braves. So he, he was on this Atlanta Braves team that was, um, you know, first in the AL and was about to win their whatever straight divisional title. So I didn't care what some 15 year old was doing at the Olympics. I actually remember being like, he got, wait, he got fifth. That's not even a medal. And not because I was a brat, just because when you're younger, right. you, you think, you know, the Olympics, oh, Olympics medal, USA is supposed to get medals as well. You know, I grew up in a household where I was taught about how great USA was at the Olympics. So I think being removed from that when I first got started was really important. It gave me a very high level of precociousness. You know, I, I was early on having dialogue with my coaches, um, John Burke was my first one, and actually Bob Bowman, they were my first uh, age group coaches. And I remember being pretty chatty with them on a, on a level, sort of level, not, you know, not feeling like I'm a kid, you know, talking up like, daddy, daddy. It was more just like, you know, like, I felt like I was speaking to them actually from a young age. And I think that's the through line throughout my career that led to me wanting later on now at Hopkins to say, I want my athletes to have an ally and I want to talk to them on a level playing field is my experience throughout NBAC growing up, growing up, uh, Tom Yetter, who is Paul's younger brother, um, Scott Armstrong, Paul Yetter, all of these people were like 27 to 35 when they were coaching me. I can't, uh, probably more in their twenties, more in their twenties, right? And so they had this young guy vibe and they all had kind of this respect for me to talk to me like person to person. It wasn't like a, a condescending way. I think that gave me space again to not feel the weight of NBAC for a long time. So I think showing up when I was nine or 10 instead of six or seven and having another sport that kind of weighed over me as something that was a little bit more important really gave me just like a level of, I think aloof has a negative connotation, but just not getting swept up in it and feeling pressure from a young age.